Welcome to Big Sky Cartway. Tonight, it's all about outlaw cart racing. Get ready for non-stop highlights of all the dirt slinging action. Outlaw Cart Racing from Missoula, Montana, coming at you now. Don't let their size fool you. These are purpose-built racing machines. 500 cc engines strapped to the side of these carts give them an insane power to weight ratio. Just like sprint cars, these carts lack starters in an effort to shed as many pounds as possible. They also have similar style top wings to provide more downforce. True to karting, these vehicles lack full suspensions. It takes a lot of talent to properly manhandle these machines. Kyle Larson cut his teeth racing outlaw carts, honing in his car control skills. Tonight our feature class will be the 500cc open class, but we're going to show you highlights of the entire night. All classes hit the track for two rounds of heat races. Gary Brown making an uncharacteristic spin in the open class. Sportsman 500 drivers on the track here for the first of their heat races. Several drivers getting tangled up here. This incident does not deter the sportsman drivers from racing hard once the green is out again. The sportsman class races similar carts to the open class, but is intended for drivers with less experience. You can see contact lap after lap in turns one and two. Even more contact this time, resulting in a yellow. Even after the checkered flag, there is contact in turns one and two. All right, on to more detailed highlights of the Open 500 Heat 2A. The number 47 of Jason Hills starting in the front. Fast time of the night, Colby Hagen in the yellow 16 starting in the back. He's looking to move up quickly to better position himself for the main event. The one of Sean Wells making moves to take over the top spot. Multi-groove racetrack here at Big Sky Cartway. Lots of side-by-side -side action. On board with Tommy Brown as he tries to fight his way to the front. You can see just how hard to handle these machines are. Colby Hagen slicing his way through the field. Close quarters racing here as we're back on board with Tommy Brown. Tommy Brown with a handful riding the cushion. He is fighting hard, working the high line and picking up a couple spots. Now pulling a slide job on Kenny Trump. In replay, you can see a little contact, but everyone able to keep him pointed in the right direction. Up ahead, Jake Rhodes takes over the top spot from Wells. Colby Hagen looking to follow Rhodes past Wells. And on the last lap, Hagen closes the gap to the leader, but it is not enough as Jake Rhodes picks up the win. Now the second group of open drivers taking to the track. Gary Brown, the man on point, trying to recover from the first heat. You can see the number 50 of Jason Heck working his way on the inside of the 18J of Joe Kilborn. Lots of battles throughout the pack. Three wide with Mike Hill in the middle. A little bit of contact, but everyone soldiers on. Brown maintains his advantage on the last lap. Gary Brown able to hold off Jason Heck for the heat race win. The box stock class is for drivers as young as five. Zaya Smith picked up the win. The 250cc class features drivers ages 10 to 16. Great battle in here between Brianna Wildham and Cameron Kmetz. In the end, Cameron Kmetz picked up the win. Lots of carts duking it out in the Sportsman main event. The two of Dave Cooper out to an early lead in this one. 15 sportsman carts on the track for this main event and no one is giving an inch. Everyone making it through the first couple laps cleanly as Matt Weidacker and Dave Cooper fight for the lead. Only to be joined by the 79 of Scott Powers. Powers working the low side trying to take the second spot away from Cooper. Cooper. 
Now Powers is all over the 316 for the lead. Powers able to clear Whiteacker for the top spot, but then lap traffic costs him the lead momentarily. Powers not giving up, he's able to make the high side work and regains the lead. Great racing up front. There's also a heck of a battle for third, fourth, and fifth. Michael Knudsen has worked his way up to third, as Cooper and Ben Palantir closely contest fourth. Elbow to elbow racing through one and two. Knutson able to squeeze under Whiteacker for second as lap traffic continues to be a factor. Palantir also squeaking past Whiteacker, a stalled cart brings out the caution. Then on the restart, the field stacks up. Whiteacker involved, several carts piling in. Back under green, the battle for the lead is heating up. Powers and Knutson doing a great job of showing just how racy this track is. Hard to tell who has the advantage at this point. Both these drivers hungry for the win. Knutson really applying the pressure to Powers. Side by side racing for several laps. Real close racing on the exit of four. Finally, Powers ekes out a slight advantage. And on the final lap, Knudsen is oh so close, but Scott Powers is able to hold him off and take the win. All right, on to the featured class of the night, the open class main event. The green flag drops next. Welcome back to Big Sky Cartway. The field all bunched up nicely, ready to take the green. Little stack up on the start, but everyone getting away cleanly. Colby Hagen out to the early lead, Gary Brown second. The two of James Setters looking under Brown. Jake Rhodes fights back on the outside as the field continues to do battle. Mike Hill in the 71 trying to follow Rhodes through. You can really see the high line gets a great run down the straightaway. Brown maintaining the advantage for the moment, but Rhodes hanging tough as they go into one and two. Brown low, Rhodes high, and it looks like Rhodes is just eking out his advantage down the front straightaway. Colby Hagen out to a nice advantage early. Meanwhile, on board with Randy Phillips. Phillips on the low line, hugging the berm. Brown keeping the momentum wound up up top. Now on board with Tommy Brown as he's in pursuit of the 71 of Mike Hill. Dive into the inside, pulling off the slide job. Hill sideways across the track. Gary and Knutson nowhere to go. Caution is out. Both drivers able to keep their carts running though. In replay, you can see a pretty hard hit as the K11 gets all four tires off the ground. On the restart, Hagen leads Rhodes. Single file restarts at Big Sky Cartway, but it doesn't take long for the racing to heat up. Rhodes really looking on the inside of Hagen. Hagen gets the momentum on the high side. Rhodes looking again on the inside. Just can't get the run he needs down the straightaway, but he's definitely making Hagen work for it. Meanwhile, Sean Wells trying to work his way up. He's on the inside of Randy Phillips, and the one of Wells gets a spot. On board with Phillips now. Riding the high side. Trying to battle back on the one X of Sean Wells. Looks like Wells has the position for now. Randy actually in danger of losing another spot. Ooh, caution is out. Caution out for the stalled vehicle of Knutson. Several drivers doing a good job of not collecting him. The K11 is pushed off the track and is done for the night. On the restart, Rhodes again trying to threaten Hagen, but Hagen gets a good start. Tommy Brown looking at Rhodes for second. Behind Tommy Brown is his dad, Gary Brown. But Gary Brown and Wells get locked up in three and four. Both drivers were in the top five. That is heartbreaking. Another restart, and again, Hagen gets a nice jump. Jason Heck looking on the inside of Randy Phillips for fourth. 
it appears the position belongs to Heck. But Phillips, not one to give up, is battling back hard on the high side. Wells trying to battle back from that spin on the inside of Phillips. Phillips hanging tough on the high line. Wells sticking to the bottom. Good side-by-side -side battle here as both of them appear to be catching up to Jason Hills. The laps really winded down here. All three of these drivers want this fourth position, not willing to back down. One lap to go, on board with Randy Phillips and Tommy Brown is spun out. Everybody racing back to the line. It's Colby Hagen picking up the win. Rhodes second. Great finish here at Big Sky Cartway. And there is our winner, Colby Hagen with the checkered flag. Another very impressive performance out of Colby Hagen. He has been racking up the wins this season. Taking a look at our results, Gary Brown and Sean Wells recovered a sixth and seventh. Tromp, Kilborn, and Rails round out your top 10. All of these drivers encountered some sort of trouble during the course of the night. So congrats to Colby Hagen for picking up the checkered flag here on August 1st, 2015 at Big Sky Carway.